Today's video is all about Target Dollar Spot dupes. Now you may be wondering why I would dupe something that only costs you $5 max. Simple answer is, I'm in Canada, but I lived in a border city for 13 years and I miss Target and the Dollar Spot so bad. So I follow this great channel called Pretty and Flawed and I'm gonna link it right up here for you. And she does all these great shopping, not hauls, but telling you what's there. So I am using some of the things I've seen on her videos so I can create them here in Canada. First up are these great boards for Mary Mail that I thought anybody would love to use. So I have a board. I picked it up from the ReStore for a whopping dollar. It was already painted black. I have no idea what its original use was, but I am leaving the back black and I'm painting the front and sides in my red chalk paint. I've created the Merry Mail on my Cricut, so I'm just gonna drop that here right at the top. Now, if you decide to cre create this, one suggestion I would have, make that lower. Because when I went to add my ribbon or twine at the top, I didn't leave me enough space. I couldn't decide whether I was going to use the twine or the red ribbon at to the top, so I went with the twine to hold the cards and I ended up using that adorable truck ribbon right at the top. I couldn't resist incorporating that somehow. Next up in our Target dupes, we've got this really cute North Pole warming station sign. So I took one of the Halloween Dollar Tree signs and that darn glitter, honestly, yeah. So even though I plan to use the other side, I've painted it with a textured paint in the hopes of covering it. And yeah, look, you can still see it. So I had used a hammered metal spray paint in the hopes of covering it. Now I am gonna paint it white, so let's see if that does the trick. Two coats of paint in this crosshatch motion and it seems to have done the trick. I've already created the graphics on my Cricut and honestly, and you guys who have Cricuts will know exactly what I'm talking about. It takes longer to create these and try to find the right fonts than it does to make the entire sign. Now the pro is putting it down and finishing it off is easy and seriously gratifying. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you're probably surprised to see me doing all this red. Well, it's not for me. So I want you to stay tuned to the end and you can see where all these projects are going. I actually have two videos with multiple projects each and wait till I tell you what's happening to them. Stay tuned. To add all those cute little dots and snowflakes and stars that were on the original, I'm just using an oil-based marker in red and I am freehanding them, probably the most nerve-wracking part of the project. Now here's the thing, if I mess this up really, really bad, all I have to do is go back, put a little white paint over top or sand them down and redo them. However, none of us wants to do that. We all wanna get it right on the first time, right? Last but not least is this cute little sled from Target and I'm gonna use a sled sign from Dollar Tree to try and recreate it. So I have primed it like crazy, I sanded it before that and now I'm using my white chalk paint. All I had to create on the Cricut was a simple Merry Christmas and this one was the easiest by far. I'm using my wire cutters to snip off the back of these thumbtacks. Wait till you see what I use them for. Time to add some lines on the sled and this Dollar Tree square comes in so handy for stuff like this. 
So I did the line about a centimeter. There I go sounding super Canadian, but it was easier than telling you like three eighths of an inch or something like that. So I actually used the metric side of it and yep, they're about a centimeter wide each. I did one just above and one just below and those are gonna act as the lines that we're gonna paint on. With a little green painter's tape, we're gonna tape those off and make sure when you do this that you burnish the edges really well. I tend to use just my finger or a nail. You can use an old gift card or anything that will really make sure that tape is secure to your sign or whatever it is you're painting and that will stop the bleed through. I have one other tip when it comes to painting with painter's tape and that is never brush against the tape. So I am gonna go back and forth on this going in the same direction as the tape and hopefully this will prevent me from having any bleed through. One of my favorite parts is peeling back the tape and seeing a successful line. Tell me down in the comments, are you as satisfied by this as I am? Time to draw on all the little details that are on the target sign. I'm just freehanding them, but right off camera there i have my ipad with the picture and i am copying it as closely as possible i think it came out really well um i did keep flipping the sign back and forth and looking at the picture to make sure i was getting it as close as i possibly could I'm using that same oil-based marker in red to go over them. And what you can't see is my daughter thinks she's really funny and she's trying to make me laugh and distract me while I'm doing this. Moms, you will be proud. I didn't get mad at her. She was being so silly, I couldn't possibly. But I managed to get through this without destroying the sign. Props to mom's concentration. And how about a hashtag patience? going to add some of this nice thick four ply twine. I believe I got this one at Walmart, but you can get it anywhere. I'm adding that to hold up the sign and then we're going to go ahead and embellish the top. I decided to use two beautiful ribbons, both of which I got from Michaels, cause you know, why not make it more complicated if you can? It's really not actually that bad. It's a little harder when you're twisting because they are one-sided. So just remember as you go back and forth and you're twisting it, that because it's one-sided, you've got to sort of twist it in the middle, make another loop, twist it again, and you'll have no problem. I decided to cut the ends not in the usual dovetail, but just in one angle to keep it super simple on this sign. Behind the bow, I'm adding some beautiful evergreen and some pine cones. I don't want too much of the top of this to overwhelm it, but at the same time, I want it to have a beautiful wintry Christmas look. Now for those thumbtacks I took apart. The Target sign had these great little studs on it, but these Dollar Tree signs are way too thin for that. So I cut apart the thumbtacks and I'm just gluing them down. Hey, word to the wise, when you add hot glue to metal, it gets hot fast. So yes, I absolutely burned myself when I was doing this. I did get smarter and I swapped it up by putting the glue down on the sign and adding the thumbtack to it. Yup. You guys, I love the way this sign came out. I almost wish it worked with my decor, which brings me back to where these are all going. You guys hear me talk about the ReStore all the time. It's one of my favorite places to pick up materials. While well, these are going to Habitat for Humanity in my area, and they're gonna be used as prizes for some of their staff and volunteers at their Christmas party. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you're new here and not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time we upload a video. I do have one more video coming up with some great Christmas decor and that stuff is also heading off to Habitat for Humanity. We'll see you next time you guys. Have a great day. Bye!